Dwayne Peters, the renowned skateboarder and lead singer of US Bombs, is currently homeless and in need of assistance. He's actively selling his personal historic items, including prestigious skateboarding awards, for survival. I'm selling all of it. These two, they came together 2002. Prominent year, I fucking bought like hell again. It was my first win in probably 20 years or something. One grand, you get them both. A piece of skate history that is not around anymore is not coming back. Since his band faced backlash after he endorsed Trump back in 2018, his job has been crafting and selling skate and surfboards online and in local LA markets and stores. We tried our best at, a, at the, you know, in these times with the independent or indie DIY, you know, business, you know. I, I've been skateboarding all my life. I know how to put boards together. I know how to make them. But because he's never held back his opinions, even when they're controversial, his sales took a hit from the backlash of the left-leaning radicals in Los Angeles. He and his girlfriend became homeless in LA three months ago after eviction, now relying on online sales as their only income. All right, well, let's face it, talk about the un-talk-about-able, the unmentionable. The city has got to be happier than hell because no one's ever liked us, even the Oceanside weekly or whatever and I'm doing my best to get the hell out of here so anyway here I am and we are homeless and everything we have for sale is keeping us alive these times are not easy for anyone. Dwayne Peters has been a controversial figure, known for mistreating skateboarders and punk bands, especially those he deemed sellouts. Dwayne Peters is the only true skateboarder, the only true punk rocker. It's a fact, Jax. You write Brand X, you are not a skateboarder. You're a piece of shit. It's not hard to understand that Dwayne Peters has said some pretty vexatious shit all his life, and it's evident that this characteristic continues to persist even today. All right, we're out on the road doing some road research, making sure everybody that calls himself punk rock gets called out, spies and all. Notorious conflicts with Tony Hawk and other skaters led to sponsorships and support being revoked by labels and skate companies. has been part of over 20 records, spanning LPs, EPs, and singles. Notably, he was a driving force in the band's US Bombs, Die Huns, Dwayne Peters' Gunfight, and The Great Unwashed. Some of his notable albums include Scouts of America, Never Mind the Open Minds, The World, Back at the Laundromat, or We Are the Problem. Peters is credited for popularizing, or in his words, inventing many tricks, such as the acid drop into a pool bowl, the layback grind, the indie air, the sweeper, the backside layback grind revert, the fakie hang up, aka disaster, the invert revert, the faki thruster, and the loop of death. And uh, I did get 500 from Hawk for the Bones Brigade video, and George Powell gave me a thousand. I'm kind of on the streets, homeless, and I'm sure you guys are just all sucking each other off and digging it so much, but uh, you fucking owe. Now, all those years after, and even while homeless, Dwayne has been striving and displaying his enduring creativity, a trait he's held throughout his 62 years of life, both before and after the internet era. Recently, as he became homeless, 
and got all his stuff on a storage unit. He initiated YouTube series on storage sales and it was fun. <laughs> Alright, welcome to Peter's Built Storage. Come check out the rare and killer stuff. Dwayne's selling his helmet from the 70s, his two old motorbikes. Brand new seat, just put it in, put that on, had it custom done. Tires are new, $2,000, the whole thing. My helmet, I've had since the 70s, okay? Anyway, I hope it goes to a good home. But also one of the most prestigious skateboarding awards ever. I got this in 2003, uh, Trans World Legends Award. I was 42. I was very honored. Now what do I do is what I was thinking. I'm selling it. I have to uh, try to get a place to live. So I'm selling it for five grand. Despite his challenges, he's been years in art school, creating craft wood boards and art related to skate and punk rock now also sold for survival. Anyway, I'm asking 1,500 bucks. I'd be appreciative. It would help help us immensely. Dwayne Peters' impact on skateboarding and punk is undeniable. He was a relentless advocate for the bands he loved, traveling the globe with his bands for over two decades. All the good stuff. Pistols, Devo, Stiplo Fingers, and maybe Ramones. Clash, that's it. Yes. You were ripping. Were you ripping? He was part of the upbringing punk revolution. Not part of the problem. Well, with all this said, is obvious that he needs support for day-to-day -day living, but also long-term stability via roles like conducting tours in the Punk Rock Museum or creating content for skateboard magazines or prominent YouTube channels. Fat Mike could consider purchasing some of Duane's items for the Punk Rock Museum, ensuring their preservation an endangered species in today's world of punk rockers, a group that might be near extinction in the next 20 to 40 years. You know, I'll sell something, I believe, to enough to get an apartment and to get my art tent up, and that's my plan. At some point, I'm hoping someone will have a heart and I have enough stuff to sell. I mean, just email me or DM me. But we're on the... You know, we get a couple days here and there on a, with a hotel from good people that have helped us out. And that a uh, couple people uh, have done that. Uh, another guy has loaned us his couch a couple nights a week. At this, uh, You know, it's been, that has helped immensely. Cost to keep the rent on the, now for our storage and now for our, our car that's got a quarter million miles on it. Hobie wheels in perfect condition. Original grip game. 76, bro. Fucking killer. 1,000 bucks. And it's yours. This is my blanket. That's the only blanket I've got right now. 250 bucks. You can have my blanket. Nobody's bought it. I don't know if they know who Sid is anymore. 350 for this and I'm throwing this in. Okay, Goldie. And this is our other little gold uh, buddy, Betty. Keeping them both roadworthy and rad. I want to ride my board and I want to put a band together someday. Uh, if I can find some musicians that are just into rock and roll.